Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today we're going to be talking about more human diagrams, and today it's going to be the sequence diagram, which is another behavioral diagram, kind of like our use case diagrams and activity diagrams, kind of showing how we use the system. But the sequence diagrams are showing between kind of like objects or parts of the system and showing the interaction between them. So right here I have a very, very simple example where we have like a Bob, which in this case probably is a person, but it's like a part of the system. Well, in this case, just the real world, but we have Bob, and then we have an arrow showing the interaction with a message, in this case going hello, and then Alice, another part of the system, responds with hello or with OK, which is this dotted line. So a full line for our interaction and a dotted line for response. And then we have for Bob and Alice, they each have a lifeline, which is this line underneath them, which showcases where they are interacting. So when we go to a bit more, like, it's not that much more complicated, but a bit more, we have like multiple interactions. Like first some kind of request, and then a response, another request, and then a response. Again, you can see these are interactions going between the lifelines of Alice and Bob, in this case, the other way around. Or maybe we could add like another one. So let's look a bit at the plant journal. So we just simply go Alice to Bob and then the message. Or maybe we have another one going here between Bob to Daniel. There we go. So now we have Alice to Bob responding, then a message to Daniel. And we might have Daniel going back to Bob saying, Daniel versus to Bob. I'm going. Okay. Like that. And to showcase, we have like this auto number tag at first, which allow us to have these numbered automatically, which would make it easier afterwards to like identify each of them saying like, so message three is special because blah, blah, blah. But this is the basics of a sequence diagram, having objects from the program with a lifeline, and then between the lifelines of the objects of the program, of part of the program we're talking about, you can have these interactions and responses. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.